Elephants usually reach out to humans for help when they are in trouble. This is one such instance. This elephant has come into this paddy field, limping on a badly injured swollen leg. It has got caught in a snare. Elephants are animals who walk huge distance to find food and water, but with this injury, this elephant is unable to do so. It has no choice but to feed on something available in this field. This is when the villagers noticed this elephant and informed the wildlife office in the area. The elephant is probably very confused and sad about what happened to him. It looks like he would have been in pain for three or four months with this worsening wound. This wire snare trap has cut into the flesh of his front leg near his foot. Now it seems infected. Sometimes, farmers and poachers set snare traps targeting smaller wild animals like rabbits and wild boars than elephants. They make these snares with long thin pieces of wire with a loop at the end connected to a large tree or log. The loop wire is suspended from a branch or a small tree and the snare catches animals by its neck as it's walking along the trail. Elephants don't get killed, but they do get severely injured by these as the wire noose pulls tight around their legs, making a deeply embedded wound in the animal's flesh. Elephants can manage to pull themselves out of these snares, but they get injured and will limp around with the wire until it gets swollen and infected. These snares are often set up along game trails and near sources of water. The wildlife team comprising of the veterinarians have arrived. They have determined the elephant's body weight and have started to prepare the medicines according to a body weight formula for elephants. It has started to rain, but yet, it doesn't stop them from what they have started to do. It is risky to go close to an injured wild elephant as it could get aggressive and try to attack at any moment. However, we see the bravery of these officers who perform their duties with great dedication and responsibility through sunshine and rain which should be appreciated. The wildlife team scouts through the paddy field in the rain, carrying a tranquilizer gun, other medicines, and equipment to sedate the elephant. As they know, it is difficult to remove the wire from the elephant's leg without doing so. Using the tranquilizer gun, they shoot a dart at the elephant. The elephant turns away angrily, but this should sedate the elephant in just a few minutes. The first thing to do when the elephant is sedated is to cut the wire off his leg and remove the gory snare. However, since the elephant can see all around, he could struggle when the vets get closer, and it could make it difficult for our experts to remove the wire. To prevent this, an officer covers the elephant's view with a cloth held at the eye level of the elephant. Thereafter, they try to pull off the wire using a hook. They fail many times because the posture of the elephant is making it difficult to succeed. Looks like they should go for the next alternative. So, after several attempts, the vets decide to administer another dose of the anesthetic drug to knock the elephant down till they finish their task. It should work within five minutes. As soon as the elephant falls down, the vets make sure the elephant's trunk is in a comforting gesture, so the breathing is not disturbed. The vets soon get to work on removing the horrible wire snare by cutting it because it is not wise to keep the elephant sedated for too long as its pulse rate is not at a stable state. The entire wildlife team works in coordination to complete this task successfully, as they planned. The wound is cleaned thoroughly with disinfectant using cotton swabs. 
Povidone iodine is applied to speed up the healing of the wound. Antibiotics, multivitamins, and painkillers are also injected in doses suitable for the elephant's body weight to support the healing process. Historically, povidone iodine works well on wounds as this or even bigger wounds in elephants. Once the treatment is completed, the revival drug is given in the form of an injection. Recovery from anesthesia is smooth and he ambulated well. A follow-up treatment has been scheduled and the officers will monitor this elephant till flesh is formed on the leg and he is recovered to an extent that he can live by himself in the wild. Thank <laughs> you. 